Hello friends, it's Saj, your local Austin realtor. Today we're going to talk about the Austin real estate market and the current status of it. And I'll tell you this, it's changed because I can recall five months ago going to a showing and there were 70 realtors and their clients there. If somebody had a show, had a home for sale on that street, um, the parking lot, it, would, it felt like a parking lot in front of everyone's house. There's cars all the way down the street, line going all the way down the other way of the street. It, it was amazing. And people were like, hurry up in there. Hurry up. We got to show this house too. Crazy amount of offers for houses. Well, times have changed. We're no longer in that kind of a market anymore. That extreme buyer's market, I don't know if we'll ever see it again. So here's where we are today. So today there is 416 new listings, price decreases 675 listings, 90, 90 listings increase their price and maybe they put $1 as the listing price. I don't know what they're doing. Um, 107 back on the market. So we're not seeing a whole lot of homes come back on the market in Austin well, as far as today. Um, active under contract, 333 homes pending, 270, and 313 closed, and 90 folks decided to withdraw their home. They're like, man, I, I can't stand getting bids below my asking price. Um, so here, here's where we are now. We're in this normal market, kind of teetering along the buyer's market. So seller's market's what we were just in, in a seller's market, the seller has a lot of power in say so, and they accept the best offer. And usually, it um, the buyer gives up contingencies or they pay more for the house. Now we're in a different market, and sellers are freaking out everywhere. I assume, um, looking at this uh, market watch here on the MLS, they're freaking out, and they no longer have a Black Friday line outside of their house. Um, unfortunately so and this is due to the high interest rates and inflation in our market today um, overall and economic mood uh, we hear a lot of talks about recession whether I know that's going to happen or not I don't know um, talks that the inflation is going to continue to rise and eventually will start to drop soon um, towards the end of the year um, so there's a lot going on out there and a lot of buyers have paused and that's why we've seen inventory return to the market and on top of that the interest rate priced people out of buying homes but at some point buyers will come back um, but I'll just tell you we may not see the crazy bidding we we saw before so do sellers do not think that's going to happen so at this point Sellers are going to have to do several things. Make sure your house is updated. You can no longer get away um, with selling a house where half of your kitchen countertop is missing. Okay, um, where your fans are look like they're going to fall off the ceiling. No one's going to buy that anymore. Um, it's going to be very hard to sell a house like that. Um, most importantly, keeping your price. Um, at what it should be. So, if you're going to sell your house sixty, hundred thousand above, you will be the price decrease or withdrawing the listing very soon, very quickly. You will not see a uh, Black Friday line outside your door. And some of you all might say they're coming from Illinois, they're coming from California, they're coming from Canada, they're coming from Florida, even. They're coming from everywhere. Where where are the buyers? Get your price to a reasonable point um, so people can afford to buy your house. The interest rate is higher. And if you do the math, you, you will see what higher interest rates do. Um, it brings the buyer's um, pre-approval amount down. It simply, that's what it does. So what that does is forces sellers to sell for a little bit less or 
than they thought they would get. So completely new market and we're basically almost on the verge of a buyer's market here in Austin, almost back to normal supply. Um, however, it is a great time to buy a home. Um, just like we were saying in the seller's market, uh, a lot of sellers are like, man, I'm gonna hold on to my house. It's gonna be my f half a million dollar house that was worth like in 2007, maybe 200,000. It's gonna be worth a million. Uh, they said this without thinking that they could afford the property taxes on that property if it was worth a million. So, um, you know, that's all I really want to say. It's, it's a great time to be a buyer. If you're able to afford a home in this market, I, I really think you should go for it. Um, as a realtor, I'm here to help you in the process of buying, even in selling in this kind of a market. Um, which is tough, uh, but I'm here to help you get through and get over the wall that's going to prevent you from selling your house and give you good advice. So to buyers out there, great market, sellers, you're going to have to price your home and be more aggressive with pricing your home and make sure you know things aren't falling apart in there that you do fix it you do some updates make the house look fresh and beautiful as should be so anyways this is your austin real estate market update and i'm saj your Aust local austin realtor thank you for staying tuned on my channel um, my information is below in the description if you want to give me a call and ask me some questions feel free to do that send me a text as well Thank you so much for joining me on this video. Thank you.